there are stories in the scripture that I don't understand. Okay, and as I get, as I walk into faith more, I'm in the faith, <coughs> I sort of get an understanding of what's happening. And this is one of those weird stories. It's not weird, but it's you have to think about it a little bit. And so, not only do I not understand some of these stories, I want to change them. I said, no, no wait a minute. I don't like the way this story goes. I didn't like that Jonathan was slaughtered with his dad. Jonathan was a great friend of King David, yet he was slaughtered with the rest of them. And I don't understand that. I, I don't know why we can't change that. But if you want to follow along here, Mark 12, 41 to 43, and he, Jesus, sat down over the treasury and beheld the multitude cast money into the treasury and many that were rich cast in much. And there was a poor, there came a poor widow, and she cast in two mites. Two mites is a quarter of a cent. That's what she had, and uh, which is a farthing. And he called upon her, called upon it to, and he called unto him his disciples, and said to them, Verily I say to you, this poor woman cast in more than all that they others were casting into treasury, for they did not cast out of their surplus, but but she of her want did cast in all she had, even all her living. This is an old woman, so we can assume this is offering. This is not tithe. And we're going to have a volunteer here. We have this old woman here coming here. And Great Bell, our treasurer, is going to stand in there. and going to ask the old woman to come down and put the money into the bag. Oh, Jesus, stop, stop. Do not put that money in the bag. I want you to take that, what is it, a quarter of a cent and go to McDonald's. And see what you can buy. No, go ahead, put it in. Thanks for your help, guys. Thanks for your help. Thanks, Josh. Here's some thoughts here. Why is Jesus in the treasury? Why is he in the treasury? Okay. Isn't the treasure where your heart is? Your treasure is where your heart is. And so what better place for Jesus to be than the treasury? Other than eating, other than eating, we never see Jesus sitting, do we? It says he's sitting in the treasury, sitting there. <clears throat> my, my. And even even better, he's not talking to anybody. When did you ever see that in Scripture? He's always talking to somebody. There can be nobody there, and he'll find them and start ministering to them. Very interesting, very interesting. And so Jesus doesn't stop the old woman. And why doesn't he stop her? Why doesn't he stop her? Because if she, if she gives, then Jesus can work with that to provide for her. If she doesn't okay. give, okay. then Jesus is restricted on what he can do for her. Okay? And it's the same with us. If we're faithful, Jesus can step in and help us in those areas of need. If we're not faithful, then it's like, I'm not sure. You know? And so let me encourage you to be faithful in your tithes and offerings. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal Savior? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for my home in heaven. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit and making me a new creature. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer from your heart, you're now born again. You're a Christian. Welcome. Welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now part of the family. You're back in the fold. Welcome. Congratulations. There's another teaching on the menteachingmen.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved. And that video will help you with your new walk in Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.